Ladies and gentlemen, major breaking news. Hunter Biden's search history has been revealed. I don't even know if I can talk about what the president's son was doing with his father without getting in trouble on YouTube. I can't show you some of the images that were featured, and I think you understand why. Hunter Biden texted his father a link to an adult content website. <laughs> All right, whatever. We're going to get demonetized on this one for sure. But, but this, is, this is the story right here. Hunter Biden, they say this from the Daily Mail. And I, I don't know what I can show, but, you know, just so you guys, I, I, you've been, you're being warned, all right? iMessage records appear to show Hunter sent a link to a Pornhub page to a phone number he had saved in his contacts book as dad on October 22nd, 2018. However, other texts show he and Joe Biden used each other's phone numbers at various points, so uh, various times. So it's unclear whether the president was using that number at the time. No, that is wrong. That is opinion. Let's talk about the facts. Here's the story. Hunter Biden's laptop was leaked a long time ago. The contents of the hard drive have been put online. You can search them. Many people have. I'm assuming this is where they got this information from. Hunter Biden was searching for a bunch of ridiculous things. He was searching for adult content featuring the abuse of illicit substances, which he himself abused. I'm trying to be careful here. And he texted his dad a link to Pornhub. And the Daily Mail says other texts show they shared each other's phone numbers. That does not clear Joe Biden. That implicates him. When you are, can I look, when they say they appear to show Hunter sending a link to an, a message, uh, an account labeled dad, for all you know, it was Joe sending it to Hunter. This is the crazy thing here with this story. So I, I had to remove all of these images because I can't show them on YouTube. But Daily Mail has got the full story here, but I can show you the captions. The profile picture for his account is a photo of two women sitting on him in a bed in the messy room while a white dog is also perched on the bed in the background. In one embarrassing video, a post-coital hunter is seen nude and grimacing before farting audibly in several of the raw videos on his computer. Hunter finished with the woman and then left the camera running as he hunched in front of the screen, pouring over the footage. So Hunter Biden's badges have been leaked. All right. The private history of Hunter Biden, I, the, they, they call him the prophet. Uh, what does that mean? Jeez. Five-year-old account, philosopher, lieutenant, the mugshot, the sophomore, the corporal, IFAP, the virgin. Okay, whatever, dude. This is n None of that is what I think is the biggest point of this story. We can make fun of somebody's uh, uh, search history. That's the meme, right? There's constant jokes where someone's like dying and they'll be like, erase my search history because they don't want people to go on the computer and see what they're looking for, especially when context is stripped of the searches, right? Let's give a shout out to our good friend, Kurt Eichenwald. This is a guy who posted an image on Twitter and one of the thumbnails I think was like some like some kind of Japanese ad ad adult comics and... <sighs> <laughs> anyway, it was a, a weird fetish thing. And then he was like, I swear, I don't read that stuff. I was trying to uh, explain to my wife that it exists. And it's like, OK, you know what? I, sure, maybe it's true. Maybe not. Probably not. But there's a bunch of stories like this where people are searching for things. And I'm just like, you know, I have to search for things when I'm researching the news Heaven forbid, uh, granted, the computer I use is like a production computer used by a lot of people. So heaven forbid people like, fa you know, when I search Hunter Biden crack cocaine adult videos, I'm not trying to enjoy. I I'm researching. However, in this context, I think there's something to be said for Joe and Hunter Biden sharing phone numbers and sharing these things with each other. I'll tell you what I think. I think that Joe Biden abused his kid. I, 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 I think it. Take a look at everything we know about Joe Biden. He's on camera sniffing little girls. 
It's creepy. He is on camera sniffing little girls. He is on camera groping women. His son is a drug abusing deviant who texted someone named dad a link to Pornhub. Here's what I think. My personal opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, right? I know that the establishment press is going to get outraged. They'll be offended by me saying this. I think when Hunter Biden was young, Joe Biden sexually abused him. I think the reason you see this drug abuse, someone who gets abused, they start using drugs to cope with the trauma and the pain. Because of this, they become a deviant doing these things themselves. I wonder how it is. Joe Biden, working class Joe, they call him, you know, raising Hunter Biden. This this guy, Hunter, turned out to be a crack addict deviant. I mean, I guess sometimes it happens, but that's on Joe Biden who raised the guy. Then you take a look at this right here. It appears to show that they're texting each other or that Hunter texted dad. That's the big one. So I'm going to read I'm going to read the article for you. And I, I, I imagine YouTube might get mad about this one. So look, it is what it is. But this is the news. And, um, you know, I, I think I made my point clear that what Hunter does in Hunter's private time, I'm I'm very libertarian on this stuff. But this is this. It's the link to his dad. The Daily Mail reports Hunter's search history reveals his obsession with adult content and fantasies, including 18 year old Lonely Widow and MILF crack cocaine porn. He uploaded his own videos and texted a link to his to someone named dad. That that right there. I'm, this is crazy stuff. Hunter Biden was working at Burisma. This is why it all comes back to Joe. He was on the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company. Joe Biden goes to that country, tells the president to fire the prosecutor who had been investigating the founder of that company. Otherwise, you're not getting the billion dollar loan guarantee. Joe Biden had no legal authority to threaten to withhold U.S. aid to this country in exchange for a personal favor. Now, of course, the mainstream media says this was in line with U.S. policy in line with Joe Biden was the vice president. The policy was what he wanted it to be. He went there and said, do this. And they said, you have no authority to do it. So call the president. See what he says. My interpretation of the events is that they were caught off guard. Joe Biden wanted this and knew Obama would have his back. This was, in my opinion, a personal issue. But maybe it was in line with policy. Why? Hunter Biden has serious problems. They put him on the board for whatever reason of Burisma. And perhaps I think Joe Biden was getting that cut. Hunter Biden was getting a reported $83,000 per month from Burisma. There's reports about 10% for the big guy and things like that with these various deals that were happening. They shared bank accounts. They shared phone numbers. This is the story. When we accuse Hunter Biden of having sent a message or done something, it may have been Joe. I don't care about the weird things he's into. I want to know why it is they shared bank accounts and they shared phone numbers. Perhaps Joe Biden did not go to Ukraine and threatened to with old aid because he was he was in line with American policy. Perhaps he didn't do it to protect his son. Perhaps he did it to protect himself. I'll tell you what I think. I think Joe Biden puts Hunter on the board of Burisma so that he can have influence and Hunter serves as his proxy. I think he does it so that Hunter can give the money to Joe so that Joe can use the money. Oh, working class Joe. He wants a cut. Joe Biden's brother, what's his name? Jim. As soon as Joe gets put, put in charge of Iraq, Jim all of a sudden is getting these lucrative contracts. The thing here that you need to understand is that they shared phone numbers. Now let's talk about that. All this weird stuff that Hunter's into. MILF crack cocaine. Well, assuming his age, assuming his his abuse of crack cocaine seems to be what he's into. Lonely widow. Yo, his brother died and he hooked up with his brother's widow. That's crazy stuff right there. That's like weird family stuff. I, and, and, and look, I'll say I can point out he seems to be a bad guy. That weird stuff he wants to be into, whatever. 
They say of the 281 websites found in his search history over six days, 98 were, was adult content. Hunter had a premium account under Arhist and uh, also uploaded his own amateur videos, but was careful not to show his face. He was also a regular user of cam sites. He made screen recordings of himself interacting with the women. That's crazy. Text messages show Hunter apparently sent a link to a adult content page to a phone number he had saved as dad. Among his search history is a visit to an article about his sister Ashley Biden's partying and arrest history, as well as repeated Google searches of himself. So um, I, 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 should, I can't show you the images. Some of them are like, they posted photos of Hunter and they've censored. It's nasty, right? They've censored some of his body, but he's like nude. Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop has laid bare his secret porn addiction as well as his penchant for making his own amateur videos. The internet search list shows Hunter was frequently visiting adult content sites and making other Google searches before he broke his laptop and took it to be repaired at a Delaware shop where he, aban- he abandoned it. I want answers. When they say, let me scroll down with, I'm going to get in trouble from some of these images, dude. When they say that other texts show he and Joe used each other's phone numbers, that's more damning. It seems like the Daily Mail is trying to make it seem like he sent this to his dad, but maybe he was sending it to himself. Yo, maybe his dad was sending it to him. Maybe Joe is using these numbers and using Hunter as a shield. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. Screenshots from another explicit video show Hunter left a woman tied up on his bed with a red stocking over her head while he went out to get pastries. He returned, took a screenshot as he munched on a sandwich. This is crazy stuff. I don't, I don't even know where to go with this. I think Joe Biden is corrupt. I think he abused his kid. I think the sitting president is burning this country to the ground. And I think he's probably, I think in many ways, Joe Biden is a proxy. A lot of people say that he's, he's, he's a, a puppet, right? And that someone else is really calling the shots. I often push back on that and think, no, I, I think Joe Biden's the president. And I think his inability to speak and his creepy, freakish behavior well, I think that bleeds into his son's freakish behavior. But I think his ability, to, his inability to speak, what ends up happening is he's talking to his chief of staff and all that stuff, and he'll say something muttering nonsense, and they'll have no idea what to do. But I do think Joe is acting on a cultural pressure when it comes to things like climate change. We can definitively say that Joe Biden is the cause of the rising gas prices. Granted, a large spike was caused by Vladimir Putin. Absolutely. And now the sanctions on Russian gas, the suspension of Russian gas, gas uh, from Russia is not going to to the Netherlands now. What's happening in Europe will impact the United States. I think that's on Putin for sure. It's stupid to just say Biden's to blame for all of this. But when they when they mention the phone number thing, I think Joe Biden is a sexual deviant. Joe Biden, I think it bleeds over into his son. His son is a keyhole glimpse into the life of Joe. And I think knowing Joe and the things he's done, the accusations made against him, I think it all becomes clear, doesn't it? Hunter Biden was likely abused. And this is why he is the way he is. Joe Biden has been using his family to prop up his interests. You see it in the story Biden Inc. from Politico. And his son is just a waste, crack addict man. How does this man become president? The, uh, the, the, the revelations here, I, I think the realization here is shocking. The story on Joe Biden and how his career tracked neatly alongside the expanding wealth of his family. It's from several years ago, before Joe Biden became president, before he was running. This means two things. Large groups of voters in this country don't know or don't care who they're voting for. It means that many people who voted for Joe Biden didn't bother to do a single Google search into these stories. It means the media covered this up to put a corrupt, disgusting individual in the White House because they hate Trump that much. Now, what's that? You're going to talk about Donald Trump and grab him by the hoo-hoo and all the other comments he made. I'm not here to defend Donald Trump. You can't play those games here with me. That's what they do on Twitter. You see it with Michael Malice. He'll say something like Joe Biden did X and they'll be like, but Donald Trump does that. I'll be like, yep, you sure did. And your point. 
People were so blinded by rage from the media that they were willing to vote for this man. I'd like more more uh, um, answers to this phone number. Will we get a single journalist to ask Joe Biden these questions? Did you share phone numbers with your son? Why did your son send you a link to a premium Pornhub account? Was it actually you using that phone? Or get this. Here's another. If Hunter Biden really was sending it to himself from, to a phone number called dad, is it possible that Hunter Biden was doing business as Joe? You see, these are the things that you start to wonder when you see something like this. He, cre- he creates a phone number called dad. Maybe his dad doesn't really use it, use it that much. But if he was really sending it to himself, this means that Hunter Biden had access to a phone number that pres- was presumably Joe Biden. Was Hunter Biden using his dad's name to do these business dealings and make money? Did Joe know about it or was it Joe himself? Here's what I have to wonder. A father and son sharing phone accounts? That seems strange to me. What seems to make more sense is that Joe Biden uses both. Well, considering the images that we saw from Hunter, it could be that Hunter was using both. But then we'd have to assume that Hunter Biden was the one pulling the strings. Maybe. I'm not convinced. He seems like he's a, he's, a, he's a nut. He's a lunatic. I think what's more likely, considering the, the contracts from his brother Jim, the things we've seen with the quid pro quo in Ukraine, Joe Biden uses his son and brother as proxies to make money for himself, manipulating the power of government against other countries for personal gain. Remember this when you go into uh, the midterms. I think most of you already do. I think a lot of people probably are just going to vote Republican because this is shockingly insane. But I also want you to recognize that there are people who either don't know and don't care and they're going to vote for this or they do know and they don't care. I suppose it's fair to point out there's probably people who do know about this and like it, which is creepy. But this is what we have in Joe Biden as a president. So when I say that the country is collapsing or that we're nearing civil war, do you doubt me? I'm not trying to read the future or anything like that. I just I'm just looking at this like, yo, you want to complain about Donald Trump and decorum? You want to complain about Donald Trump and cultural problems? Joe Biden is showing himself to be worse than Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump said that when you're famous, women let you do whatever you want. Yeah, he said when you're famous, women let you do whatever you want. Joe Biden grabs women and sniffs them and has had to apologize for it. Joe Biden was accused by Tara Reid of doing unspeakable things to her. And the people in this country hated Trump so much they voted this man in. The vice president to an administration that killed American citizens without charge or trial, that killed an American child, Abdurrahman Alalaki. Where's the outrage? Yo, I think if we're going to see more politicians like Joe Biden, we are doomed. Because regular people like you or I, we can see the level of depravity and corruption here. We know what it manifests in. This country is being ripped apart. It is being usurped by people who simply want to take power, make money by any means necessary. They care about nothing. Leftists wanting, I don't know, whatever, whatever they can get are willing to support or prop up Joe Biden because they don't want Donald Trump coming in and toppling it all. They want the machine to remain intact so they can seize control of it. So they tell their followers, go vote for Joe Biden. Before all these leftists went and voted for Joe Biden, videos had emerged of Joe Biden sniffing young girls and women. Where was the Me Too movement? When Tara Reid complained about it, they said it was a lie and manipulation. And they all walk in lockstep believing this stuff. I think Joe Biden's only out for himself. He plagiarized in the 80s. He's plagiarized over and over again. His campaign slogan, Build Back Better, that's a European slogan that he even got called for. I think Boris Johnson called him out for using it because that's what he is. He's been a scammer his whole life and he's made his way to the White House and it breaks my heart to see it. This is the current state of U.S. politics. So let me just say it for the 50th time, my friends. Read it critically. When they claim that Hunter and Joe shared an account most people are going to make it the assumption, at, well, as they say, it is, you know, it's unclear whether the president was using that number at the time. They make it seem like Hunter Biden was the one orchestrating this, when it very well may be the inversion. 
that that uh, Joe Biden is the one who was running the whole thing. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about this. I just saw this story and I was I was quite shocked by it. I'm only imagining that uh, YouTube is demonetizing it and going to age restrict or something like that because some of this stuff is just way over the top. I think we need to impeach Joe Biden. I don't think Republicans will do it unless we can get rid of the rhinos. But Kevin McCarthy is likely to become Speaker of the House. You're not going to get an impeachment. Maybe it doesn't matter, though. Maybe you'll get a committee that moves to do it. Maybe they'll be able to get around Kevin McCarthy or Mitch McConnell or whatever. You know, we've had some Republicans on Timcast IRL said, I think we got to unify. I don't think we should be playing this game. And I'm just like, bro, I got to be honest. Not, you know, the, the, the dude we had on, uh, Matthew Foldy, I believe his name was, he said he didn't want to impeach Joe, Joe Biden. All right, man. Well, in my opinion, I wouldn't vote for you. I want to vote for the person who says we're going to impeach him day one and investigate all of this. I don't care. I don't care about this idea. But but if we do that, then there's going to be conflict. And you know, I don't care. You don't let people get away with illegal things just because you're worried about stability. Because if you don't investigate it, then things destabilize. There's no answer to this. There's no way out. This is disgusting. Next level stuff. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 4 p.m. over at YouTube.com slash Timcast. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.